Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm back here again with the Speedster. In the previous video, I got the drive shaft all in place, uh, the transmission's in place. So in this video, I'm going to be making this custom shifting arm. Um, I made this out of an early Ford style, like swan neck shifting arm that I adapted to the newer transmission. And I just turned up a new knob for the top out of the same wood as the steering wheel, so that matches really nicely. Um, and now this is, it works really nicely. I can actually sit in here and make engine noises and pretend that I'm, I'm driving down the street and shifting gears while I'm doing it. So, enjoy the video. Alright, so as you can see there, I cut off the top of the, the stock shifting arm from this transmission and what I have with me here is an early, early Ford kind of swan neck style um, shifting arm and this one is kind of, kind of messed up and mangled at the bottom here so it's not a super pristine piece. So what I'm going to do with this is I also have a little um, wire form that I made this kind of gives me a general idea of the shape I want it to take um, from the output of the transmission here to a, a place where it's comfortable, comfortable for me to grab with my hand there. So I'm going to use this as a template and kind of bend this, this arm to sort of match it. And then of course I'll cut off the extra that I don't need and then just weld it right onto the transmission there. Okay, so I ran into a slight problem here. Um, I tried to tack weld on this piece to the actual um, transmission shaft there, but whatever type of steel this is doesn't really like to weld. Um, this is just normal mild steel, it welds just fine, um, but this piece is something different. It's not super hard, you can cut it with a file, um, but it doesn't really weld nicely. I tried to use this this off cut that I have that I cut off of here, I tried heating this up to like anneal it and then welding on, you know, just a bolt as a test piece, but it was still pretty brittle. So I don't think welding, I can't just weld this on. I don't think that's going to work because it's, it's not going to be a strong weld. So I have a different idea. I'm going to try to bore a hole out through here and then, you know, maybe modify the end of this or weld a bolt onto the end of here to actually kind of, you know, have a mechanical connection of these two pieces going together.
Alright, so I got the shifter arm in there all assembled now, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I really like how it kind of swoops back along the bottom and then curves up at the end, and how the, the early forward, like, swan neck style arm has a slight taper to it. I think also adds to the, adds to the look. And it worked out pretty well for my method of, of connecting the, the base here. Um, what I did was, the bolt that I welded onto the end of this was a 7 16 I believe, and then the hole that I drilled through here was one size under that, so that I, I could file down the bolt slightly, so that when I tightened it up in there, it really locked into place. Um, and then also just in case, I put a little pin through there as well, just to make sure that it's not going to rotate in there at all. Um, and it turned out pretty nicely. It shifts smoothly. You got, you got first, second, third, fourth, and then fifth, then re reverses down on the, the bottom there, and it turned out pretty nicely. And I really love the wooden handle here too that I turned up. You can see that I, I adjusted the threads on the end of this ever so slightly so that when this tightens on there, you know, the grain is nice and symmetrical to the, the center line of the car. And all in all, I'm happy with it. So that's it for today. Um, it's really cool to actually see all the drivetrain components like that coming together and all the little pieces starting to fall into place. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.